and welcome to another Thunder Laser tutorial video and a very cold Southern Tasmanian workshop. So today's video we're going to cut out that artwork that I put together in the previous video in Lightburn. I also used a free finger joint uh, box generator to assist me to, to put this together but a lot of you uh, just like to see the laser working. So I've set this up on the table now and I've removed the front cover part off here to um, well basically to allow me to get a, a good camera view for, for you guys. So um, and I'll leave as much of this in real time as I can but first things first I am going to make a, a couple of alterations on this. Um, I want to individualize uh, the blue layer cut into separate layers. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is allocate these five internal blue areas here into their own separate layer. Now it's a very easy task to do you just highlight and assign an, a different color or a different layer. And this one, next color, this one, orange, this one, I think that's turquoise, and this one, mauve up purple whatever that color is. Uh, now in the listing up here because I, I want these uh, all cut out in a certain sequence in other words I want the black outside areas cut out last so all I really need to do is highlight push up highlight push up probably an easier way of doing this but this is the easiest way for me that I found okay so we're going to start off with the red one which is these two holes here uh, then of course go the, the, the blue then the green yellow orange turquoise and purple um, so yeah that's um, okay so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to run through these I need to now change the, uh, these two are, are fine I can see that it's uh, 22 millimeters I might speed that up a little bit actually I'll go through them all very quickly I'll just show you um, one uh, I'll leave it on 50 percent but I'm going to take this up to uh, let me see 20 I'm going to go 24. I possibly could go 25, but we'll we'll go 24. Um, air assist blowing. So if you if you have this uh, selected, um, that will give you high pressure blowing on the Thunder Laser. You have um, two separate uh, air systems. Uh, there's a, a low blow, a low pressure blow, which is used for engraving, uh, and a high pressure uh, blowing from the nozzle, which uh, is a uh, cut. So 24, 50, 50, that's all okay. And they're all going to be set up identical, so it's, uh, you know, I want to put you through that pain. So I'll bring you back in in a minute or two. Okay, so now. I've set all these up, they're all identical, they're all exactly the same cuts. So now we're going to send it to the laser. Um, oh, we'll just number it something. So it's um, I just label it something so I know exactly what it is and I know it's the right file in the um, controller. So 
Okay, so hopefully the control is illuminated now and you can see what uh, is actually being said in here because on the previous video when I used the laser this was a little bit dark. Okay, so we're looking at the file. There it is. It's going to take a while to, to read. Enter. Lovely, look at that. Okay, so actually it's going to be interesting to see how long it's going to take. So I'm going to set the datum point now and let's, uh, let's run this file. Oh. Mm -hmm.